What is up, y'all? Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Five Star Hotels. This is the Five Star Hotels, okay? Welcome to the mental resort where you can just kick back and just, you know, be you. Be comfortable and shit. Today I got... Oh, it's my turn to come on? Yeah, you need to introduce yourself. <laughs> the fuck? Hey, it's your boy Dead Leg Fred. You know we checking in. Dead Leg Fred. Dead Leg Fred, we checking in in the five-star hotel. What is up, Dead Leg Fred? <laughs> you like that? You like my name? That shit kind of creepy, but <laughs> we gonna roll with it. Because I'm like, what the fuck? But... Anyway, so thank you for coming in on the show, whatever. Uh, what's been going on? How you doing? I'm good. I'm in a good place right now, mentally, spiritually, financially. Um, I'm just, I'm cooling. You know, okay. I'm, I'm a chill little dude. Okay then. What you, what your name is again? <laughs> I'm Dead Leg Fred. How you gonna forget that? Man, it's a long ass name. All right, just call me Fred then. Let's just go with Fred. It's probably gonna make me remember Dead League because Fred <laughs> kind of like, I don't know the niggas name. Fred. You, look, bro, you gotta pick one. Either it's Dead League Fred or just Fred. Okay, fuck you. I'm gonna try not to have to use it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right, we're gonna go ahead and dive into the podcast and how we do what we do when we do it. Or whatever. So we gonna go into our pop culture topic or what you've been seeing on social media as far as like you were scrolling, it kinda made you stop low key type shit. Yeah. Like what's some shit you done seen? Or what's um, what's been going on? I be off and on social media. Yeah, like I got social media but I'm not like the biggest social media type dude. Like, then I'm not, like, big on Instagram. I use Facebook a lot. Like, you use Facebook? You don't use Facebook? Then, Facebook is very messy. I mean, where I'm from, it's like, that's the... I know, it's... The, look, yeah. listen. I understand. It's yeah, a fucking so. show. It's like a real <laughs> life, like... It's like Facebook, Interconnected like, show. It's like my fucking... It's my playground. That's why... I, when I'm bored, that's what I'm scrolling on. Like I, I, that's the first social media app I click. You have like Facebook remind me of high school. Like as far as it's like, just, it's like I'm talking about as far as like the socializing go. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I can see that. Like it'd be fun for, for me. It's like how I connect with the people from home when I'm not home. You get what I'm saying? Like, right. But. Yeah, everybody it like my Instagram is like almost strictly business. Like, isn't when I'm on Instagram, nothing but like stuff that I'm interested in doing. As far as like my music career, that's what's popping up on there. So it's right. like it's not a whole bunch, but like Facebook, that's why I like the that's why I see most of the the topics that people are Man, talking about. Man, that's where the shit be going now on Facebook. Yeah, you know I'm like, a shit starter, so oh, I be I be where the shit at. Okay, okay. <laughs> so just like in general, like Facebook is where is it as far as like that home like if you get like yeah. a homemade meal as far as like you getting the update on the local shit that's going on. Yeah. Cause I mean what got, like I mean it's like oh this shit over here going <laughs> on in like fucking Malaysia or some shit. Yeah. And it's like okay, oh prayers to them, but like you know about what's going on locally back sure. home because of Facebook. Yeah, exactly. Like, um, face. I feel like Facebook has become almost like the new Twitter. Cause we, what? Yeah, people post on Facebook. You remember how you it used be, to No, tweet? it used to be shit you see on Twitter. It was like, it'll end up on Facebook like weeks later. So are you saying like... The tables have turned. Shit you'll see on Facebook, so, you end up seeing on Twitter now. So these days, like, Twitter Twitter is, like, 
OnlyFans promotion type shit. Like, I get on Twitter right now, I'm going to see some naked bitches. No. How much you want to bet? That's you and what you follow. If I get on, it, I don't even be following this shit. Like, it just be popping up. Maybe it's from, like, because I ain't going to cap. Like, you probably done favored it, some shit. Like, I don't some even shit. be favorited in nothing. Like, uh, I do follow a shit. lot of, like, Instagram models. And okay, Twitter. you're but, literally. That's but, what's going to be put into your algorithm. I guess they be. My shit full of porn. And I sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes I like it, sometimes not so much. Like depending on where I'm at, if I'm fucking at the coffee shop and I got weird Bob behind me, and I go get on my Twitter and all you see is a big ass shaking. Like damn, like I hope weird Bob ain't see this shit. Not yeah. weird Bob. But yeah, that's what my Twitter is. Twitter's Twitter's the new X videos for me. So you think that's why they call it X? Probably so. so he just kind of he knew what he in. was doing with that. What his name is? Uh, Elon. Elon Musk. And then you know, doing. like last week, they made it so like you can't look at people' favorite. I mean, likes anymore. Ah oh, damn. So like when people so, like if you used to like somebody, shit, you used to be like going through their likes, yeah. and what they kind of subconsciously saying. So like that's how I used to like. I'm I'm putting you in my mix now, but like when I'm let's say I got my favorite little. Little Instagram model, or Twitter model, or a person, or a person you trying to like, shit. yeah. I go, that's how I find others. Like, oh, she liking her shit. I'm gonna go see what she on. You get what I'm saying? What the? F- <laughs> that's how that shit be working. Like, that maybe... shit twisted. No, it's not, not you. But... Like, you go out, they vibe, they come, like, they similar interests, they seem similar. So, say for instance, like, you know how. I'm going to say football players support football players. Yeah. Basketball players support basketball players. Rappers support rappers. So, like, vice versa, porn stars support porn stars. Or any type of, like... Yeah. So, like I'm telling you, Twitter is my porn site, basically. So, if I'm looking for... I'm real specific when it comes to porn, because, like, I, I don't... I don't know. It's like... I can't just watch no random people that I'm not. I have no interest in have sex. So that shit don't turn me on. Like it gotta, what? Be, it gotta be somebody like it gotta be somebody that I'm interested in actually fucking with. They like life. make it better. Yeah, like my imagination, a motherfucker. So it's like I, it gotta be somebody who I would really like just crack in real life for me to watch it. So I guess mm. this kind of why I check the lights out type shit like. Well, okay. it's gone now. I'm mad about it now because I, I ain't been on that in a few days. Like, yeah, I saw it like. You just blew my mind with that one. I'm I saw it like last week. It. I think it was actually like a little over a week ago. Over a week? Yeah, that tells you how much I'm on there. Yeah. I, I didn't know that. So, like, now, so like, now if you I try go, to, like, click on somebody likes, there's nothing. There's no action. They need to run that. Back. You can see the number of likes. But they you can't they see really who hating. Likes. They hating, like, it just show you like the like tactics is coming out for election season. Period. Mm. Point blank. People be able to kind of mask their hatred or whatever they really think better, which I think is dumb. Like people go thinking what they go think. Yeah. Like, what can you do about it? Have Have you saw? Um, I guess this is like pop culture because it's been going around a lot lately. Like they making hats and shit about it and everything. Like. You saw the Hawk to girl? The who? She was she was like Hawk to like so she was getting this interview, right? <laughs> Listen, I'm finna ring you in. Okay. She was like she was getting interviewed outside of a uh, country music festival. <laughs> and the dude was like he was like, Hey, tell us one trick that you do to keep your man. She was like, Well, you gotta go hawk to spit on that thing. You ain't seen that shit? <laughs> no. I'ma show it to you. I'ma show it to you. That's like it's going viral. She said it's changed her life. Like, she got slogan deals and shit now going on off of that. That shit crazy. Off of, and That's that how dude, you know online is really, like, yeah. the Matrix. Because what the fuck? That dude who, who was doing the interview, his channel done took off because of that. She done took off. Like, now both of them, like, getting a bag off of Because she, she spoke on her technique. She said, you got to do Hulk. 
spit on that thing. Man, I bet it's how she do it now. Be spiritual, like. <laughs> That oh, nigga be like, really, hey. You said spiritual is crazy because like it came out that her daddy a preacher. See? And so now I've been like She knew how to channel <laughs> and express. You can't just some people like, yeah, you know, I just hit the hit. She said, you know, you got a hawk too. Spit on that. Thing. Yeah. She getting it ready. I was looking for her little white ass. I but that's another story. Hey, it's understandable. That lady knew how to use all the senses, okay? <laughs> she knew how to she make it visually, exactly um, the, the sound, the when hook. You, when, you, when you hear you, it, everything, you, hear it, you, you it, hearing huh? it, you imagining it, you imagine how it probably feel, like, ooh, like, so she knew what she was doing. You a hawk to her? I plead the field. <laughs> You can't plead the fifth. Yes, I can. In it's the, five in star the, in the five star hotel. You can't plead the fifth. Five. Hotel. It's a five. It's a related. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> um, just like last night, I had recorded, you know, the other episode or whatever, and I had touched bases on like the like Kendrick and Drake beef yeah, shit, yeah. and it was funny because like while we like we were recording, shit was going down. So when I got online this AM, as far as like whatever happened yesterday, whatever, you know, got going, I was like, see, I was just talking about this shit. I'm talking about as far as like you talking about Twitter, like as far as like the freaky shit. I'm thinking about Twitter like like I, niggas like forming like clan. Yeah. I mean like, I see all that shit on Facebook now though. But maybe that's because that's my you know, that's my number yeah. one social media. Yeah, I always like Twitter because, like, Twitter to me, as far as, like, the people who actually be on them, it shows you how people think. Yeah. Or people, like, constantly, like, sharing opinions. Like, that's, that's what it's all about. Yeah, that's how Facebook is for me. Like, I, I've i I've picked up on the Project 25 shit. I mean, Project 2025 right. shit on, on Facebook. I pick I up, picked up on, all on the on Drake too. and Kendrick Lamar beef. Tw- um... Twitter. To which, if you're going to ask me about that, I think Kendrick is lame as hell. Damn. He's, he's a fucking cornball. But I don't want to get into that right now. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, that shit's like, corny. But yeah, like, that's why I find out my little, you know, I find out my little information on, on Facebook. Me and um, you over here campaigning. Watch, they go send you a fucking message talking about, hey. They might as well cut the chick. They gonna want to in a in a. I'm gonna say in about a year, or two time. They gonna want to cut me a chick. Man, look, he, look, he said, look. Facebook is where is it? According to Deadly Free, I approve that message. Shut up. Okay, so we are gonna go ahead and navigate away from the pop culture shit, and I'm gonna dive off into some topics. And if our guests would like to include a topic. We're going to open up the space to do so. But I'm definitely going to pop this shit out. All right, pop it. And see, you know. What if you have any, like, rebuttal on it? Okay, so. (laughs) As far as, like, partners go. Or whatever, like, could be fucking with. What's, like, a natural smell that you like from, like, women? What you mean, like, a natural smell? Natural, like, whatever, like, to me, people have, like, a certain essence about them, or whatever. Like, a natural, the pheromone shit. This shit is real. So, like, I don't know. You may like sniffing a person neck. Or you oh, like how this um, smell. Like, it's something. It's just like, ooh, this get me going. This get me around. What's a natural smell? <laughs> I'm not much of a sniffer, so I wouldn't know, like. What are you being? Um, I'm like a feel, taste kind of dude. Like. What? Okay, so what's your natural taste? You like to lick a neck and taste nothing? 
Um, you I eat like a little sweet taste. Like, what you like? I, I don't even never just taste nobody that was sweet, but like, I don't want to taste no salty motherfucker. Like, fuck no, that's off limit. Yeah, like, that's on some off work type shit. Out, like, what the? Yeah. So if you if if I'm kissing you and like I kiss your neck and it's just out, it's like I don't know. It's kind of like a turn off to me. Like like you said, you want to kiss a neck and taste nothing. Like kind of. I um I don't know. I like soft, real soft skin. I like being able to like run my fingers straight through your hair, like without getting tangled up type shit. Like shit like that. As far as smells, like I I want you to smell nice, like. So you just like a genuinely smelling nice type. Yeah, dude. I guess I guess my favorite smell on a woman would be like lavender or some shit. Like mm. you know, um like soft and sweet. Yeah. Like not too much, but just like just like I like a fresh out the shower motherfucker. Like you don't, if if you if your hygiene now, you don't even gotta put on perfume to smell good. Like once you get out the shower if you do this consistently, then it's just, you know, how you A think. natural smell good. Yeah. Okay. So you just like a bitch used to be clean. Clean, yeah. I just want to like, look, mm, you just, mm. Absolutely. Okay. I guess you answered it <laughs> to me. Um, Me personally, I like the like when a nigga just been out and he just come back. I ain't talking about like he just been out like at the club or nothing like that. It's that either like from cutting grass smell. I love it. Okay. Or like he just been out. You just like, like ripping and running. It's a rough, it. almost mustard nigga. No, well, no, I'm not saying it. Yeah. Because even like on some it. like you just been gone all day and it's that it's like a smell of return. You kind of deep. Like, I get what you're saying, though. Like, like it's just been like... The smell of a nigga that's doing something that's in motion, I guess. Yeah. Whatever it may be. <laughs> he just been gone. He been moving around. And you can just smell it like emitting off, oh, emitting off him. Like, mm, this smell like... Yeah. You know? So, I get what you're saying. Now. I, I guess I just like the smell of a woman that's just... Soft and gentle, I guess. I like the smell of a nigga that's just been like out. You like the outdoor smell? Roaming. <laughs> Even he's been out running errands when he get back. It's like, ooh. Mm, like, it's the smell of return. I'm going to call this episode the, the smell of return. The smell of, of return. return. Yeah. You are crazy. Like, you just been gone and, like, mm. And he come back and it's just, like. You smell like you've been out so on what adventure. So, what does that, that smell, what does it do to you? It's arousing. It makes you want to be like, ah, oh, give me a hug. Like, let me console you. Because you've been out in the world, my baby. For sure. It be kind of like that. But it's very natural. It's like some primitive shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you ain't gonna smell it over a whole. It gotta be mixed with the cologne. It gotta be mixed in. I feel you. It's a manly. Like ooh. Mm. Sound like it make you want to go hog to spin on that thing. See you over here <laughs> promoting it's, shit. It's your, it's the way. I'm still marketing this is non promotional, by the, the way. <laughs> anyway, so like, do you have any type of topic you wanna bounce off of or I can just go ahead and go into my next one. Um, I might have some after this. Let's just keep it flowing. We doing good right now. I'm enjoying your time and your essence. Cause I'm definitely talking shit and I love Talking shit. Keep talking. Shut up. Anyways, um, now this is a question I had. I'm having, 
And you gotta, like, look over, like, your landscape of, like, ever fucking. And when I say ever fucking, since the beginning of you fucking. This ain't no, no, couple years, no. You gotta composite this average mm -hmm. with your ever fucking. And then we can kind of be like, okay, this is how you've been, like, in recent years. Because, like, as you get older, like, you know, you be growing, you be changing. Be okay, so, and you're ever fucking. I like that. Um, what's the longest you've gone without sex? <laughs> um, I don't know, maybe, like, a couple months. I a know. couple months? Yeah, like, I can't recall why I just went, like... Damn, Fred, dead leg, don't be dead. Yeah, it sounds like Fred leg, don't be dead. Because he called himself dead leg Fred. Um, it don't be dead. And I, clearly... <laughs> I mean, it ain't like... So, like, a couple I'm months, so when you saying, like, a couple months, you mean, like... Leaning for like three months or like maybe like two or three. Like I can't. I don't know. I don't know if I, I just don't know if I ever went longer than that. Like I don't even know if I ever went three. Like damn. I mean, it ain't like I can't. Like I think if I just told myself, "Hey, I'm not gonna have sex." Yeah. Then you know I'll do that. But like I ain't never really just had a reason to like not have sex. You know. Right. Um. I know a lot of people be like, well, you should because, like, soul ties and all of that shit. But, like, I'm not one of them people that get, like, attached to somebody that easily, you know? Like, so I've been, um, I don't know if this off topic, but I, I kind of been dealing with detachment my whole life, you know? Yeah. Um, my mama, I saw my mama get arrested when I was, like, four or five years old. Um, my grandma, who actually raised me. She gave me back to my mom and left to move to Texas, you know, when she was... So, you know, it's just like, I don't want to get too deep into that, like, but I don't get attached to people that easily for me to be like, oh, they left me with all of their essence yeah. and da 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 I've literally only been attached to one girl my whole 28 years of living, so it's right. like, that shit don't really affect me, but, um, yeah, like, maybe two or three months, that's probably the longest. Damn. And it's not like I'm just out here, like, fucking with a whole bunch of different girls. Like, um, I guess I do good enough to where it's like I, I can always double back on most of the girls I have sex with. So it'd be like kind of like the same girls. It's just like. What the fuck? Not you got a, a old reliables on dick. I wouldn't say that, but it's like it's somebody that I used to miss. It's always going to be somebody that I used to mess with. Well, yeah, I think that's human to, nature. You know, yeah. Yeah, so I don't really just... I think... If me, you if you want to go without, you can go without, but yeah. you're not, like, desperate for it, but when you I ain't come, it come. But, but, like, if it come, hey, fuck it, I'm a pro with it. It's like... So, I'm going to say... I could be chilling and not thinking about it for however long, and then... If I think about it, then I want it bad enough, then shit, fuck it. Like, I'm going to go do it. But it's not like... A constant oh, I just, thought. Yeah, it's not like... It's not always on my mind, because, like... That's, that's funny you say that, because they be saying, like... You know how, like, women have, like, monthly cycles? Yeah. They be saying, like, men have, like, more so kind of like a quarterly, like, thing. As far as, like, how they moves be shifting and shit. And... <clears throat> You saying like three months kind of makes sense. Yeah. Um, that's funny you said that shit about cycles. I had an ex used to always say I had a, a male cycle or some shit, but. You say you was a Gemini? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> y'all are like, y'all own like experience within y'all selves. Is it I'll a good say. experience or. Okay, like, I'm into, like, the whole, like, I'm into astrology shit. Yeah. And I got Gemini in my chart. 
So I feel like I understand Gemini like sun people, mm -hmm. but at the same time, like I understand like creating my boundaries with them. As in what? Like what you? Because as somebody that's very expressive and emotional, Gemini people aren't really good with it. Right. They're more so good for like fun, adventure, the light shit. It's not that they're not like dependable and they can't be there for the heavy shit, but they moves be shifting. So it's like they can show up for you yeah. if they're literally in the mood to show up for you. I feel it. But if they're not in that mood, it may come off like they don't give a fuck, but they literally just not in that mood. Because you'll come back and revisit somebody and it'd be like, oh, this shit never even happened. <laughs> Because I mean, to I them, guess. it wasn't even a big deal. But if you're like an emotional, sensitive yeah. person, you'll take that the wrong way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, that's very relatable. I can say, I can say you kind of know what you're talking about. But like, <laughs> I'm going to say this. If that person like cares about you and like, you know, he likes you or they like you, it don't matter what move they in. If you come to them needing some type of, you know. Whatever it is, like what about they, they love you? That's different. If they love you, yeah. I feel like as I don't know how all Gemini's are, but me when I love you, shit, I love you. Like you say, you only love one person, so you can only like. I mean, I only loved one person on an intimate level. I love a lot of people. I got friends that I love. Like the people that I love, that that's kind of really why I don't like. Get too close to people, cause like w when I love people, it's like it's it's different, you know. Like yeah, I'm willing to like to lose so you can win type shit. You feel me? Like and the whole time, like I don't even be wanting nothing in return. I just be wanting to see you happy. Like I want to make sure you straight. I know in reality I'm gonna be straight regardless. So like if me giving you this, I got five hundred dollars in my pocket. Your so life's finna cut off. Get cut off and that shit five hundred dollars. Like me giving you that, gonna keep you straight, then, huh? I'm gonna go get it back somewhere else. You feel me, like? And then you need to get that bitch some dick and speak some life in the hood and be like, don't let your shit give us some five hundred dollars, babe. <laughs> I like, mean, don't do that shit no of more. course, but shit, what if, the it, fuck? if it ain't all that, like I got friends, I got friends who I just genuinely like care for enough to just do but that shit. At, but at the same time, like you say that with people that genuinely know you and y'all care about each other, they know you. Yeah. So they don't hold you to these like standards. Or it's whatever. not about what they holding me to. They it's love a, you. It's it's like about it, it really just be me like just showing man, up. I got people who I've done so much shit for that that have never done nothing for me and it's not even a problem. Like I I I would like to think that if you could you would but even if I feel like you wouldn't, it ain't about what you would do. It's about what fulfills me. Like, me looking out for you, me making sure you straight, me showing you that I, I really care about you, me doing this, that fulfills me. Like, getting something in return, I'm going to get my blessings regardless because mm. I try to be a good person. Speak for it. <laughs> for real. I try to be a good person so I know I know God ain't going to leave me out here hanging. Right. So, yeah, like, I mean, it'd it be, and then, you know, you deal with people that, that think they using you, but, you know. I God, didn't want to look. That was very triggering. I only say that because, like, I had been green for some time in life, and then I had to, like, learn people over time, you know what I'm saying? I mean, look, you're going to always deal with somebody that's, it ain't, it ain't even about you being green. It's just like, you were a good person, right? And hell yeah, users. I feel like users are always going to need to use somebody because at the end of the day, God sit high, he look low, so he gonna balance it out some kind of way. He not gonna let them win. Like he's never going to let a person with a with an unpure heart win. Right. At the end of the day, you see how you straight now. You gotta. I remember the first time I ever visited you. Your shit was, you know. <laughs> Whoa. I ain't gonna get too deep into that, but look at you now. Look, look how right. far you came. And Thank you think you. you got there by 
Nah, you got that because God saw you was a good person. You like, oh my gosh, man! Look, you hear to hear the positivity. Thank you for that. So, like, don't get me emotional. Ah, uh, this ain't the one to be crying on. I know, but no, that was very like nah, gene, I, I'm and I really real. received yeah, it. For sure. Like, thank you. But okay, so well, shit. I just want to know how long. Yeah, you be we going without fucking. But anyway, I don't go too long without fucking. It's not that I can't, cause I actually love having sex. Like I'm a nasty motherfucker. Omg. But it's just I don't know. Like I just don't be having or feeling the need to just be like I'm gonna stop fucking for a year. Like I think that's crazy. You. Anytime a girl tell me, oh, I ain't had sex in a year or two years, I'll be like, yo ass lying. Why does it have to be a lie? It just really don't seem, it like don't the, seem, it don't seem realistic. It's very realistic. It is? Yeah. So what, what would cause you not to have sex for a year or two? I'm saying like, I haven't gone like a year or two, but I've gone like a extended period of time. How long? What's the longest you ever went? It was like, eight eight, nine months in that range. And you ain't please yourself no kind of way? Not penetration wise, no. So what you got some head? No, like you got you a little toy. You here. know, um, uh, are you familiar with Miss Yelly? Yeah. Um, at the beginning of one of her songs she says, DJ please <laughs> pick up <laughs> your <laughs> <phone>. <laughs> Yo. Okay, so okay. you have to spin your record so So if we include like you know masturbation and We're shit, not like, including it because it's not penetration. I'm not inserting anything. But for a dude it's like I'm nah. not penetrating anything, but I'm still catching the nut. It's not the same though. You're right. So uh, yeah, I guess I still it's can not say, the same. I still can say about two or three months. So, but if if we were including penetration, I ain't never went longer than a month. Well, uh, I'm including penetration. I mean, if we if we were if we were including masturbation, then I would say the longest I ever went without like beat my meat or busting a nut in general is probably like a month, month and a half. But like. God damn. I feel like that's pretty fucking good. I don't have a penis, so I don't know. You don't think... So, if a nigga tell you, like, yeah, I went a month without even busting a nut, like, that don't sound like... How you say it sounds suspicious with the bitches with the one or two years. <laughs> that's how I feel. Suspicious. I'm but like, there's hmm. other ways to, like... I, I, I'm gonna tell you, I got a strong imagination. So, like... I can make it myself feel like I'm stimulating myself if I just sit there and like, you know, like I can close my eyes real tight and clench, yeah. my, clench my hands together. Then it's like, all right, I'm good. Or I can go work, go to the gym and just work out real hard or like go punch a punching bag. For, you know, like it's ways to like get over that yeah. need to, to release. Me personally... When I'm, like, not connected to anybody, like, not fucking with nobody, I ain't loving nobody, it's so easy to, like, go without it. But to me, like, feelings and shit like that, yeah. it be, like, alert to the body. And to me, I be attracting niggas with, like, powers. What kind of powers? Niggas be having like magical powers, like they just be picking up on shit. They know shit. It just be crazy. It be weird. I be like, man, here go another nigga with a superpower. <laughs> I don't, I don't meet like normal niggas. I don't. I do feel like when you uh. And to me, them niggas like. I'm not saying people like people be like picking up and sensing if you fucking with somebody. Not even on some like jealous shit. It's just like, mm, I may need to treat you like this because I'm feeling yeah. this other energy emitting. You can tell when like somebody off of you. The energy just be different. Yeah. Everything be different when like people like are, like we just go be together. So for me, 
when I'm just like to myself. I can go without fucking. Last year and this year been dickless years. I was like, you know, <laughs> 22, 21. 20 was like not popping. So it's like over the past like few years, I really haven't been like Like how I was, like I'll say, like in my early twenties. I like to say that my 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 um I'm not my coochie not push to start anymore. <laughs> it's more of like a, I'm an old school now. What does push to start mean? You know, like push a start card. You just yeah, burn, yeah. they go. Mm -hmm. It's like that when you're younger. So what you think you got warm that thing up or something? Old school. Keep it covered up. You only pull it out. You going riding on the highway. Okay. You taking your time. You ain't trying to be like, you know, this ain't no new push to start. No, who wants that? <coughs> so, okay. now that I'm like, you know, you take time to learn your body and shit. Yeah. And like I said, the more you Spend time with yourself. If somebody else not showing you how to learn your body, you gotta learn on your own. So, so that's why I be like, hmm. I, don't I know. could be a DJ, maybe, or you play American Idol. This person audition is horrible. Go ahead and DJ. Go to sleep. Um, Boom. I'm just not the kind of guy that's going leave you unsatisfied unless I'm just like so not into you like you get what I'm saying like it gotta be for if I left your house and you wasn't satisfied it's probably because what satisfaction come from out of that I mean you saying like you just said if somebody come try out it can be horrible and all yeah. that yeah but even if that like Okay, so you've had somebody like express to you that they're not satisfied, or you haven't had like a I had bad BDR. I had one girl to tell me that I didn't do something, and after that, like it hurt my pride so much to where it was like never again type shit. So instead of like just doing my own thing when I'm you know fucking with somebody. Like while I'm doing this, I'm I want to know how you feel, how I feel to you, like you know, mm -hmm. um, shit like that. Like I'm not just finna get in here and just beat it up, boom, 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 like and get the fuck on. Like nah, like if that ain't what you want, I ain't finna do that. See, it sounds like a grown man. That's what it sounds like. Yeah, I didn't grow. I'm, I mean, like I ain't gonna sit up here and lie, like. In my ever fucking the words you use, yeah, like, ever I wasn't, fucking. I wasn't on that type of shit, but like, over time you've learned. Yeah, over time I learned, especially dealing with like women that are older than me. Like they don't be liking that shit. Some of them do. Some of them like hate it. Like some women really like, like you said that you made it. That was a good analogy using the the car shit you use. Like telling. Yeah, you gotta you gotta prime them and warm them up and yeah, you gotta check the fluid. Yeah. the tires good, all this shit good. Look on the hood, all it, and you gotta warm it up, like yeah. in the winter time. You don't need to just uh, no, you gotta warm that car up. Get you nice and toast. You gotta rub it from the back to the front. Ah, uh, whatever it is that yeah. you do, cause everybody know they car. Everybody know they car. If I don't know the car when I first get in the car, I'm going to figure it out before I get yep. up out of there. And if it's an old school that you done took care of and just invested in and rebuilt. It's going to run like a brand new mug. I'm trying to take. Look, <laughs> you're feeling. Look, you're picking up what I'm putting down. All right. So, I'm going to get into the crazy story shit. Okay. Or whatever. Because, like. What kind of story is this? Like some crazy shit that didn't happen to you sexually or Um I really didn't want to go like down the sexual route. I feel like we didn't talk about a lot of sex. 
Even though yeah. this is like about, I was gonna tell like a random crazy story. I feel like we was like so off of sex. We'd have been bouncing everywhere. But yeah, but at the end, but the meat of it is. Ignored it. <laughs> See, Making a little ice. Right. But, um. Okay. Well. I think. Since we're like speaking on like. Um. 16, I guess. Like, what the fuck? I was going to just like tell a crazy story about. A, like, weirdest date I went out on. Okay. And it was, like, this old-ass man. I didn't realize. He wasn't, like, old, old. He was, like, you know. He had to. That nigga had to. He told me he was, like, 40 or something. <laughs> and the time, I was, like, 23, I think. Because shit was, like, really lit Um, at that age. Yeah. Um... I be chilling now because all the shit I did back then. But okay, basically, my mom, my parents had moved to Mississippi. And excuse me. And I had went to Kroger because it was like a Kroger near where my mom lived. And I went to Kroger and it was just like, man, he just kept like looking at me. It was just like a little weird. Don't get me wrong, it was a certain pair of tights that I would wear and I knew like, them bitches is popping, okay? Well, they made that ass look fat. Well, damn. Well, damn it, yes. <laughs> I'll have to say they did. Them your big booty tights. So, well, everything is, you know, but it was just something about them. It was the, 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 the fabric, the material, good quality. So, I'm grocery shopping, and he checking me out. And he come like I'm getting in line, and he come zooming up in the line I'm in, and he all like, I can't help but notice you. But I'm like, well, clearly, nigga, you've been obviously checking me out. Right. Now, at the time, I wasn't like. I didn't, like, judge people back then. Like, as far as, like, niggas, like, I would give people, like, a fair chance type shit. I have more so, like, I understand, like, my type or the type, like, frequency, like, I attract as far as niggas go. It ain't necessarily a look. It be, like, an energy. The niggas I fucked with are, like, the same person but the same energy in different forms. So I know it's me. It's a me thing. Cause what the fuck? For him, it was weird. His hair was shaved on the side and he had dreads at the top. So it should have been a little red flag <laughs> then. This nigga got a dread hawk. Yeah, a dread hawk. <laughs> and I was a little like perplexed. Cause I'm like, hmm, you know, I'm gonna be at the time I was also gonna be living in Mississippi. So I'm like, I'm gonna be here for a while, so I can see we're just going, like, talking to him, going out, see what it's like. So we talked on the phone. Old niggas already be annoying as fuck to talk on the phone with. It's like they can't hear. I don't know, it's just be weird. I just, mm, I enjoy the conversation. And <laughs> he was like, could you meet me at Chili to go out to eat? I was like, Chili? Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. It's like a fair place. Like, I'm 23 at the time. Yeah. No, 22, 23. One of them. I met up with him. We at the restaurant. We talking. You want to know what this motherfucker asked me? What? He asked me like an old man in his way. Percy was like, you know, we was talking, you know, whatever. He was telling me about like what he do for work, this and the third, things he got, this and the third. And then he went on to say, are you sexually active? And I was like, what do you mean? He was like, I would like to know if you're sexually active and are you on birth control? I was like, what the? 
<laughs> to me, that's some old ass nigga shit to ask. Yeah. Cause what the fuck? Oh, yeah, damn, this sound like a doctor, bro. It sounded crazy. I was yeah. like creep out, and I just didn't like the tone he used. Uh, I ain't really okay. I grew up in Louisiana, like my people. My daddy people from Mississippi. My mom people from Louisiana. I'm used to the tone of like Louisiana men. And so it's like how they communicate. Yeah. Tones from men in other places be a little off-putting to me. They be a little foreign to me. So like if you use like a a tone that I'm like niggas you kind of raising your voice to me like I don't like how you sound it right now. <laughs> so he was like basically just getting to a point of I'm trying to like fuck with you and I want you to be my young hoe. That's what I was getting from it. I want you to be my young hoe and I need to know that you ain't fucking around and that you're on birth control. That's what I was getting from him asking me those questions and him asking me like did I plan on getting in a relationship? Do I want to be in a relationship? What kind of relation? What the fuck? This nigga was forty, so it's like what? Yeah, you I almost mean, double my age, and you putting all these hard questions on me, like nigga, take me out to eat, take me shopping, keep it simple. What is all this other shit? I think. And I'm, then I got up. I asked for a to go box, but I didn't even take the food to go. I put the food in the box, and I got up and lived. And he was like calling my name. He was like, your name, your name. <laughs> <laughs> and I just kept like power walking. Yeah. Out there, bitch. Because <clears throat> I was disturbed. Like, ugh. I oh, don't know. I, I guess he was Would like, you ever ask a woman like. Are you sexually active and are you on birth control? Is that a question you'll probably ask when you are 40? I don't know. That ain't a question I would ask in that setting, though. Like, I would only ask if you're on birth control if we, like, finna have sex in this moment. And even then, like, if this our first time, like, I probably... You need to call You're a party head. I was just head. finna say, it wouldn't even matter. Cause, Brain like, coat. It wouldn't even matter because we gonna use protection, but... Yeah. I mean, I don't know, man. I ain't got old that, that yet. Like, I ain't got that old yet to know. But maybe he was oh. asking because he wanted to fuck. Probably was seeing if he was going to be able to fuck raw. Are and you fertile? He wanted to know. He, look, he like, I already raised my kids. So I'm 40. Yeah, he's trying to see if you, like, yeah. I didn't understand you fucking other that. men, if you fucking other men, are you going to bring me something back and are you going to have a child? Because the nigga probably married and didn't tell you. Oh, look. I'm going to end it. Look, I don't even want to build up on it. Yeah. That was just my crazy story. Because I couldn't believe that nigga asked me this shit. I can't believe he did that shit neither. The audacity. Okay, so what you been watching lately? Because I know you be watching TV. Oh. Please don't tell me you want of people that don't be watching TV. It's okay to watch it sometime. Yeah, I, I watch TV, but it's not like an everyday thing. When I do watch TV, it's I'm I'm watching Power. Ooh. Um. You got the I, new one. Yeah. I'm uh. What else? I was trying to. I I'm I watch BMF, but it's like not a favorite. Uh. But like on a daily, if I'm if I'm watching something every day, it's probably gonna be Law and Order SVU. Dun 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 dun. Doom, 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 doom. <laughs> nah, let me stop. Doom, yeah, doom. That's probably like my favorite fucking TV show ever. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck okay. with Olivia Benson and Detective Tutuola. See, I ain't watched it lately. Because who? Nigga, Ice-T. Oh. <laughs> that's what I been calling that nigga on there all this time. That nigga named Detective Tutuola. That nigga is Ice-T. <laughs> Ice-T. No matter what he do, that's who he is. Then he always got one line in the motherfucker. I like when he they had his ass on Ricky and Morty this time. I ain't see it. He was playing like a litter like 
T. He's like a block of ice. This one is shaped cool. like a T. <laughs> he was from a planet. He's from a planet called Alpha Betrium. You're a cornball. <laughs> <laughs> this one was called. Basically, it was like a a battle going on between like different galaxies or some shit about like music or whatever. Yeah. And they had the best music this way. In Alpha Beach. <laughs> you pretty as fuck. In, okay, anyways. Nah, I'm just sitting up here staring. Can we continue the interview? Yeah, let's go. My bad. Your so, hair look nice. Thank you, baby. Period. Just like the uh, the, uh, the, vid- the visuals come. When the visuals come. You gonna, you gonna see, see how you popping up? I'm telling you. Backgrounds and shit, you gonna see. You Keep know? popping your shit. Okay, so mm-hmm. what you been listening to? I don't listen to music. So what you been thinking about? Like, what the fuck? Um, I guess getting rid Wait, let's just. This is what it sound like in your mind? Listen to the silence. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I don't really like That's loud peaceful. noises. I don't. I don't know. Like, but yeah, I, I. You know, of course, you catch a couple of songs here and there, but like, I don't just like. Oh, let me turn on some music. I feel that I can listen to music for like a couple of hours. That's like intentionally, it's because I'm like doing something, and even then, I'll kind of be like, "Okay, I'm turning off now. I don't want to hear no more music." I'm gonna say. 30 minutes to an hour max. Yeah. And that's like extreme at that point. Like, I gotta be doing something. Or like, it be like even, subconsciously even when on like when I'm out places. Like, even when I'm cleaning up, like I can only listen to music for so long. Well, damn. Like, before long, like, cause I don't know, like mm the songs, like, it ain't no music right now. There's just, like, that's my mood. That, you know, like. It's not going to listen to the old shit, baby. No, I, I could. That's the pro. That's probably the only music that I can listen to longer than an hour. Like, yeah. old classic soul type shit. Mm, look. You know, a little blues. Um, I listen to. The motherfucking blues so, so hard if they need things. Yeah. The blues we need. You like Johnny Taylor? I fucking love Johnny Taylor, okay? Yeah, I listen to Johnny that Taylor. That look, you know how like your elders had like they niggas they listen to or whatever? Yeah. That was like my grandma nigga. Yeah, that's funny. That's my grandma nigga. My grandma <laughs> love her some fucking Johnny Taylor. Look. My auntie, it's funny as fuck. This is a story they always tell. So, um, it was a little skinny, weird looking dude trying to holler at my auntie back in the day. Uh And she thought he was dusty or whatever. So she like, no, get the fuck away from me, blah, blah, blah. So the little nigga go hit the stage and he like, kill it. And whole time it's fucking Al Green. Like, Al Green was trying to, to get at my auntie. Damn. And she shot his ass down like, nah, I don't want you. Good. <laughs> because the bitch ended up throwing grits on that nigga years later. Well, maybe. So he probably wants shit anyway. Maybe if, you know, she would have talked to that nigga, he wouldn't have got the grits thrown on him. She probably would have did worse. Probably would have beat him up. Like, they kind of crazy. Exactly. Yeah, my mom. My, my Either way, that nigga was going to get his ass. He was going to get it. Yeah. It's go. It was bound to hit me. <laughs> that nigga, he was doing too much. Yeah, that's crazy. Al Green. Al Green. Shout out to Al Green. Reverend Al Green. See, Formally. he eventually got it together. He changed his ways. He had to. How did his grits on your back? I'm so tired of being alone. I'm so <laughs> tired. I'm on my own. Won't you help me, girl? <laughs> Look. I was just watching Little Don't Cost a Thing the other day. Uh, I ain't watched that shit in so long. So corny, so good. It's a good corny movie. 
Okay. I've been listening to, I definitely be like on my old school vibes or whatever. And I really like, I already touched bases on like the early 80s groups. I really fuck with like early 80s groups. But a nigga who music really go hard to me is Luther Vandross, okay? He got a song called Don't You Know That. I know everybody know like a house is not a home. And, Dance with um, my father. Uh, I don't really fuck with it, but it's cool. Ooh. I get it. It's the motherfucking Don't You Know That by Luther Vandross. I love this song. Like, when I be cooking, I like listening to shit like that. I right. definitely like listening to music when I'm cooking. Like, you putting that groove and that love and soul into it. Johnny Taylor got a song I like like that. It's called Running Out of Lies. We'll get, I love, we're getting careless. Without but love. I love. That one hard. Look. But I, they I, was cutting up back in the day. People be trying to talk like people be doing so bad now. She now. Man, they been nah, doing this shit. Man, what? That, that's what running out of lies about. Man, Running out Getting of harder to think of an alibi. alibi. Stealing your love is mm. getting harder and harder. Mm. Excuses I'm giving just don't hold water. Niggas was taking <laughs> niggas bitch. Look, it's my woman for the night. Come on, man. They can, and then look, that's what it was. That's funny as hell. People been people was getting really getting through shit with each other back then. Man, they was getting through it. They was they was getting it. I'm telling. You. I wish I did live back in the era where like they wore suits and shit all the time. Like, yeah. We some bums now, bro. Like, like people you really used to be like putting that shit on, like yeah. dressed up, like just because we are bums. Like, we I put on a pair of jeans and a nice shirt and think we doing this shit. That's them. You saying we? <coughs> they them. I mean, that's what it is. I mean, I could start, but it's like nowhere to go now. Where I'm gonna no, put it's on a, a mindset. One, it's literally nowhere to go. Where oh, I'm well, it don't matter. Fly. Oh, what I look like walking in the club with this fly ass suit on. And you look like you. I'm gonna look goofy. You speaking it on yourself, baby. <laughs> you the one just said I, like, I, why I can't I? Like you can. I would like it, but nah. You need to be. You need to be in lounges then. But like the boss stuff niggas did. I like going to like cigar lounges and places like that. You know, people be like, you know, it's laid back. But I still need that bounce. I like. It's, well, you just ratchet, baby. That's how that Facebook. Uh, no, no. That's how like, that Facebook you be on. I like to be dressed in a, you know, the most sophisticated manner. But I still want to see some ass shaking. Like, I still want to like. Well, you need to go to like find like a distinguished strip club or something. <laughs> A classy strip club. No, I'm just gonna get dressed up and go to the strip club from now on. They gonna think I'm rich in there anyway. Yeah, they really gonna be throwing eggs <laughs> because of the possibility. Oh, that nigga might be a lawyer. Because girl. of the possibility. Oh, uh, a tech nigga. Ooh, that nigga probably. <laughs> you just never know now. People be coming in all type of forms. Like, you don't know what the fuck they be doing. Okay. Well, thank you so much. But coming on the five star hotel, um, I usually give like, well, we usually do like a shout out, restaurant shout out, or whatever. Last episode I did BB and PU. This episode I want to give a shout out to Ava Street Cafe off Eastern Lane. Well, it's just called Ava Street now, or maybe even Ava. Over time, they just minimalize that shit. Which is understandable. But I really love like Thai food, yeah. Asian food, like Vietnamese food. I like that type of shit. And they got some really good fucking food. The pho good, the rice plates good. I'm like a spring roll motherfucker now. So definitely shout out to Ava Street. Okay. It's a nice little they got like a little quiet, like little bistro type vibe, like it's very quiet, intimate. You know, it would be like too many people in there at the same time. And that's what I really like enjoy about it. You wanna give any restaurant shout outs or anything? Or you good? Um, I'm gonna shout out Fork and Spoon on Brightside. Okay. That's like 
I eat this shit every day. I ain't gonna even lie. And the food is definitely really good. I was there with them before Keith Lee spent through the city. You know, so I'm a regular. They know. They, I oh, that's even, the place that Keith Lee went to. Yeah, that's one of the places he went to. What um, they have there? It's like brunch breakfast kind of. Okay. Um, They got their own twist on all different types of breakfast or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, My favorite dish... Is the braised? It's the braised beef. Um, braised beef grit bowl. Ooh. And when I tell you that fucking braised beef is so tender and this bruh, good. it's seasoned. It's like a dish called um grits and griots. Like um, griots, it's like when they slow cook the beef. No, when I'm you so when hot. you off again in the morning? Like when your next off day? Not till next week. Maybe next week we can go spin over there and get a couple of things. But I'm telling you. It's good. It's good. They okay. Like and and them, they Fred approved. Keith Lee approved. For sure. I think Keith Lee through. gave the braised beef grit bowl like a 9 out of 10. Damn. Yeah, it's that serious. It's Are that they serious. portions? I right. oh, you 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 probably wouldn't eat it all, but yeah, when I, it's satisfying for sure. Like the portions, pretty good. Like yeah, they fill you up. Cause that be the thing. Like when you go into like places like to go, that's mm-hmm. it. She and she take. Mm-hmm. Okay. I gonna feel that to go box the fuck up. Fork and spoon. Are you forking? Kidding me? Bye. Okay. It was well, it was good. I liked it. I ain't gonna lie. You did your thing. Thank with that. you. you. Thank ate, you. you. I had to slide it, it in. I had to slide it in. But anyways, y'all, thank y'all for like checking out this episode. We gonna follow up with the young sir on a couple more podcast journeys. But thank you for being my first ever guest on Five Star Hope Two. <laughs> sure, it was nice being here. All right, y'all. I really don't want to check out. Okay, you can come back on another episode. I can't. I got these topics. Because the hoe's real fine, y'all. She fine as hell. Oh, gee. All right, y'all. Thank y'all so much. And I will definitely tap back in with y'all, all right?